Good evening and welcome to CTV News Channel. Thanks for joining us. I'm Akshay Tandon. Liberal candidate Raj Saini says he's made the painful decision to end his campaign to be re-elected. The Liberal incumbent for the Ontario riding of Kitchener Centre made the announcement today. He says allegations that he engaged in inappropriate behaviour with female staff are false. He said an independent third party review conducted through the House of Commons cleared him of harassment. He says the false allegations have been widely circulated, so he says continuing his campaign no longer serves the best interests of his family, staff and constituents. He says he's seeking legal counsel to review options to fight defamatory allegations. Saini's campaign says his name will remain on the ballot when voters go to polls September 20th. The Liberal Party has issued a statement saying yesterday a review process was initiated after new information was directly provided to the Liberal Party of Canada. Mr. Saini will no longer be a Liberal candidate. And let's now bring in CDB's Glenn McGregor. He's joining us now from Ottawa. Good evening, Glenn. It's good to see you. There is a bit of a confusion in this development, a bit of back and forth between Saini's campaign and the Liberal Party. Right. What can you tell us? Right. Well, actually, first thing to remember is for the last five days, when since this report first emerged on another network about these allegations against Mr. Saini and his treatment of female staff, Justin Trudeau has had to defend not the MP, but the process, and also have to defend why he remained on the ballot as a Liberal candidate when Justin Trudeau has said repeatedly that he has zero tolerance for sexual misconduct. And he's, Trudeau's tried to do that day after day after day. Today, earlier today, we heard from Saini this statement that he would no longer campaign, not necessarily withdrawing as a candidate, but just saying he was going to stop going door to door and doing campaign events. But then we get the statement from the Liberal Party saying, based on new information they received yesterday, he is no longer a candidate. But this may all be a uh, distinction without a difference because regardless of whether they consider him to be a candidate and regardless of whether he's actually campaigning, his name remains on the ballot. The deadline that Elections Canada sets for candidates to withdraw passed earlier this week. I believe it was on Monday, 20 days before Election Day. And that means... Those printed ballots that voters are going to get when they go into the polling stations, it will have the name Raj Saini, Liberal Party of Canada, and he cannot be replaced. And what that means for the Liberals, uh, sort of the broader picture, is that in a riding that they were thought they had a good chance of winning, they've held it since 2015, when Mr. Saini was first elected, and after it was redistricted from some other ridings, they are going to lose that seat, mm. likely, most likely, because there still is the possibility, and this is crazy, but if his name is on the ballot and people in Kitchener decide they're just going to vote the Liberal ticket there and choose his name, put an X next to it, theoretically, he could still be elected, although it would raise a whole question about whether he would actually agree to be sworn in, Akshay, as an MP. Right. And also the possibility, Glenn, if he would want to be an independent then, if he's not a part of the Liberal Party like we heard from the party. So that also remains as a big question. But let me ask you this too, Glenn. We know, like you mentioned, Justin Trudeau was on the defensive all this while about, you know, Saini's status last week. How much of a problem or how big a deal is this really going to be going ahead for Justin Trudeau's campaign? Well, I think it's probably going to reinforce some negative images that people have had about how the Trudeau government has handled complaints of this nature in the past. In particular, sexual misconduct allegations in the Canadian forces. There was some similarities in the handling of the Saini case in that complaints apparently were brought to people in government, senior people in government, and were not acted upon just in, in this, the same way that allegations against the former chief of defense staff, jo uh, Jonathan Vance, were brought to the defense minister. Defense Minister Harjeet Sajjan then uh, referred it back to Privy Council staff, nonpartisan, non-political staff, to investigate, and they found the complainant wouldn't talk to them, at least according to their account of this, and the matter uh, went nowhere. Uh, so it's not a good look, uh, mm. obviously, but I think probably having uh, Raj Saini no longer carry the Liberal colours, have him off, uh, the, the, at least officially or unofficially no longer a candidate, 
then at least uh, Justin Trudeau won't be getting questions about it every day, although there may be still some lingering saying, what more information did you have about this? And do you not now, in hindsight, recognize that sticking with him for those last uh, four or five days this week was a bad decision? Messy situation for the Liberals. Right. Uh, they probably want to get it uh, behind them as fast as they can, Akshay. That's right. The new information changed it all for Raj Saini. Okay, we'll leave it at that for the moment. CTV's Glenn McGregor, always great to chat with you, Glenn. Thank you. Thanks.